I wake up every day thinking, I am good at running, but the reality is I'm not. I'm really not good. It's hard to accept when you get to a level that you're successful in something, you don't accept that you're not good at something else. You always think, that yeah, I can do this. I'm gonna go for it. It's gonna be all or nothing. Mental toughness, it came into my life with the loss of my dad when I was 13 years old. He was always pushing me. You have to eat right, go to school, sleep right, and go train. He threw that in my head, but when I lost him, that's when I really had to be strong. When my dad was alive, I told him that I was never gonna quit racing. A year and a half after he passed, we kind of like lost everything and I had to go to work. The only thing I knew to do was actually race. So I started working at the go-kart factory every day of the week to make some money to help my mom. But also, that was the factory that would give me the equipment to go racing. And then in Italy, I lived in a race shop. I slept on a, on a mattress in an office. They would lock me in at 6 p.m. and open the doors at 7 a.m. That's what I did for the first two years and start winning there. I've never stopped for a moment to think that it was not gonna work. That never, ever, ever crossed my mind. I don't run just to be fit. I run to train my mind how to be strong. I've never had actually done a marathon until I've done Kona in 2011, doing an Ironman in Kona for 12 and a half hours, the hardest thing I've ever done. That was the run that made me think that driving race cars, it's actually easy.